Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to convert a pixel image to a set of vector style curves using side effects Houdini. Now, in a new document, we are going to first set up a grid, project an image on it, blur it, cluster it, and split it up into a set of curves that need to be uh, smoothed out. So let's start with a grid and we will choose spacebar 2 to watch it from top, dive inside and increase the resolution of the grid to 100 by 100. Next we use an attribute from map to either load an image from our hard disk or just copy paste an image URL from our browser. Let's flip the image using invert vertical and we switch off the light to get rid of this reflection. Now cluster points node will set up clusters based on our color attribute which is very very detailed so before we do that we should blur out the image colors using an attribute blur. Set it to CD as well and once you blur it out you will see that the borders are still kept from being blurred so just deactivate pin border points. Now the clusters are far more relaxed and we can switch off the coloring of the points so we still have the cluster attribute underneath. Let's promote it from points to primitives in order to split them up based on the cluster attribute but make sure to set the promotion method to maximum or minimum first so that way the borders are either on one or the other side. Now the primitive split can work based on our clusters and you can just explode the entire geometry to see where the splittings occur. This is also a good opportunity to just look into other promotion methods where you'll see that average leaves a lot more single pixels and we don't want this. Now next step would be to use the divide node that removes shared edges. This is basically the curves we want. Let's get rid of the explosion and hit L to sort the nodes again. And now what we would like to do is first of all make those curves have a single color so you would also promote the colors from points to primitives and you have to enter CD again to make it work and now you can choose a wide range of different promotion methods like maximum, minimum to get the darkest color or the average color of each curve. After this you may want to smooth out the curves and this will work as soon as you do not constrain the boundary but then you will see that we are kind of losing contact to the neighboring curves. So before the smooth, we should bring in a fuse node, which makes them stay together. Now in order to get a more detailed image, you have to either extend the number of clusters and or reduce the amount of blurring. Now you may see uh, some artifacts, especially in the 3D view, you see some flickering polygons because there's some polygons or curves uh, lying on top of each other. So you can use a hole sop which cuts some bridges and makes these islands um, yeah, be individual and not overlapping. Now in case you do not like the way this looks, you can also go back to the divide node and append a clean node which has functionalities for consolidating points and fixing overlaps. Now all of a sudden we get a really clean looking uh, vectorized image. Alright, feel free to play with all these values, especially attribute blur and the number of clusters. Thank you for watching.